Welcome to RPS Group of Schools Online Classes. This is Session 5 for the Chapter Metals and Non-Metals. Let us study about Displacement Reaction. Displacement Reaction is a reaction in which a more reactive metal displaces a less reactive metal from its salt solution. Let us study an example of Displacement Reaction. When zinc granules are placed in copper sulfate solution, copper ions are displaced by zinc. This is because zinc is more reactive than copper. This results in the formation of zinc sulfate and copper metal. The chemical equation for the reaction has been shown above. Let us perform an activity to study displacement reaction. In order to perform the activity, you will require 6 beakers, iron nails, a zinc piece, a copper coin and solutions of copper sulphate, ferrous sulphate, silver nitrate and zinc sulphate. Take different solutions in 6 beakers separately. Mark the beakers A, B, C, D, E and F. Place the metals in the beakers as shown in the following figure. Beaker A contains copper sulphate solution and an iron nail. Beaker B contains copper sulphate solution and a piece of zinc. Beaker C contains ferrous sulphate solution and a copper coin. Beaker D contains silver nitrate solution and a copper coin. Beaker E contains zinc sulphate solution and an iron nail. Zinc sulphate solution and copper coin are kept in beaker F. Observe them carefully for some time. Now what do you observe? You will observe that reaction occurred only in beaker A, B and D. This is because in all these beakers a more reactive metal displaced a less reactive metal from its salt solution. The chemical equation for the reaction taking place in each beaker is as follows. Let us study about the reactivity series of metals. We know that some metals are more reactive while some are comparatively less reactive. These metals are arranged in a series called reactivity series. Reactivity series of metals can be defined as the series or arrangement of metals in the descending order of their reactivities. In reactivity series of metals, the most reactive metal is placed at the top of the series, while the least reactive metal is placed at the bottom of the series. The figure here shows the reactivity series of various metals. Reactivity series helps us to predict whether a metal can displace another in a displacement reaction. It also helps us to gain information on the reactivity of metals towards water and air. Hydrogen is a non-metal. Still it has been included in the reactivity series because of its property of losing electron to form positive ion. So it behaves like a metal in most chemical reactions. 
This is the reason for inclusion of hydrogen in the reactivity series of metals. Let us discuss some uses of metals. Metals are used in making buildings, bridges, aeroplanes, ships, trains and cars. Metals are also used for making cooking utensils due to their property of thermal conduction. Some metals such as gold, silver, platinum are used for making jewellery due to their luster and non-reactive nature. Metals such as gold, silver, aluminium are highly malleable. So they are used to make foils. Because of their high melting point and high electrical conductivity, metals such as copper and aluminium are used for making electric wires. Due to its liquid state and uniform thermal expansion, mercury is used in thermometers. Let us discuss some uses of nonmetals. Oxygen is essential for our survival. We breathe in oxygen in order to produce energy. Biomolecules like vitamins, carbohydrates, fats, proteins contain carbon. Nitrogen is used as a food preservative and also in the manufacture of fertilizers. Chlorine is used for water purification. Graphite, a form of carbon, is used in pencils and in batteries. Phosphorus is used in crackers and fertilizers. Hydrogen is used in fuel cells to generate electricity. Bromine is used in dyes and pesticides. Diamond, a form of carbon, is used in making jewelries and cutting of glass. Sulfur is used for making firecrackers, gunpowder and sulfuric acid. Iodine is used as an antiseptic and applied on wounds. That was all for today's class. Thank you.